One of the first benefits you'll see in a soil when you stop tilling is that soil hydrologic function returns. And simply put, soil hydrologic function is about water going into the ground and being held there for the next crop. This will be the subject of the next few videos. In helping us understand soil hydrologic function, Dr. Tom Schumacher begins with the D word. You're familiar with the word dirt. I'm familiar with the word dirt. Yeah, it's a, it's awfully a no-no for a soil scientist to use. But I believe that there is such a thing as dirt. <laughs> but the dirt is the solid part of the soil. Okay, it turns out that only 50% of a good soil's volume is actually made up of solids. But what does that look like? After all, soils don't behave like pie charts. Well, then to make it a functional soil, one needs to really have uh, some sort of a, a structure uh, of the soil. And, and I like to use the analogy to a building. So the building materials would be equivalent to things like it would be equivalent to the dirt, the solid part, the nails, the concrete, and so forth, the wood, and, and so on. The building itself is more than just those materials. It's, uh, it's put together in a certain way. And that it has uh, rooms, it has closets, it's got corridors, it's got water pipes going through, it's got vents, and it's got doorways, and, and so forth. Those, uh, soil is analogous to that building. It also has, on the surface, it's got doorways and windows to the outside. The makeup of that, those holes that go out to the out, is very important as far as getting water into the, into, the, into the soil and preventing water from running off or preventing soil from uh, detaching and going away. And as far as inside the soil, we have to think about, there's, we talk about pore size distribution. So we've got macro pores, we've got micro pores, we've got meso pores, we've got all these pores of different sizes, they have different functions. A macro pore will not hold water against gravity, but will allow drainage. Uh, and also allows water into the soil as long as the pore is open to the atmosphere. The meso pores basically will hold water that a plant can use. A micro pore will uh, well, the water held in the micropore is not available to, to a plant. All these different, what we would call pore spaces in the soil, they, those different sized areas have different functions. And they're all interconnected. It really doesn't do any good if I have a macropore in the soil and it's not connected to anything. So what we have here in terms of architecture, a healthy functioning soil is like a well-designed building. Every space has a purpose and everything is actually interconnected. Can this architecture be destroyed? And also uh, uh, another thing to look at is if I take a wrecking ball to the, to the building, I still haven't changed any of the components of the building, but I've de definitely changed the functionality of the building and the livability of the building. Things could still live in it, but they're not the same things that are living in the building. How does the wrecking ball analogy relate to a living, functioning soil? We're going to end with a few thoughts from Dr. Dwayne Beck. Mother Nature doesn't do tillage. I mean, when Mother Nature does tillage, it's a catastrophic event. It's a flood or volcano, an earthquake or something. That's her form of doing tillage. And um, so way back whenever I used to say, you know, tillage is a, in nature, tillage is a catastrophic event. What's natural about taking a big tractor and a bunch of iron that's manufactured in a plant and taking it out and start doing things to your land and call it a natural system? That's not a natural system. And so once you have that mindset that this just is not an option, then you do better. <laughs> you do way better than that. Join us in our next video as Dr. Tom applies these basic principles and compares infiltration in three different tillage systems. See you soon.